Well, I am back. Finally, it's been almost two months, I think, since I fished, which is a, that's horrible. That's, that's a record for me, but uh, that's just is what happens. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes, and that's what you got to take care of instead of fishing. So, I am very, very happy to be back, and I should be able to hopefully start getting on the water more regularly again and uh, give you guys some more reports. But, since I was here last, a lot has changed. We are now in mid-June, and the running current, which is good. I just looked, um, we're supposed to run more today. It was running like 20-ish thousand, 30,000 overnight, 20-ish the last couple hours. And then now uh, they dropped it down to 16. So hopefully, maybe throughout the day, they'll bump it back up again, that's what it says, but we'll see. So I am first and foremost going to be focusing on main lake points. And the first thing that comes to me here is the water clarity, it actually looks pretty decent. I know for a while it got really, really dirty all the way through the lake from running all this water through, but it seems that has cleaned up quite a bit now from what uh, I was told previously. So that's a good start. Um, we're going to be looking at things that butt up against the main river channel and then I'll be on the other side as well looking at some flat stuff, some spots I have marked, things that you know I've caught fish previously doing this. So what I have on deck is a 10XD, actually a 6XD, sorry, a uh, football jig. I got a shaky head and I got a four and a half inch swim bait on right now. So we're gonna see if they bite any of those things. Hopefully they do. If they're being a little finicky, I might even throw the drop shot at them a little and see if they can uh, get them to bite. But hoping I can have a good day here today and uh, catch some good fish and just, I just wanna put a lot of fish in the boat. That's my main goal today. And hopefully we can sack up a couple nice ones while we're doing it and uh, put together a decent bag. So let's go fishing. Let's uh, see what we catch. First one right there. Uh, top water here. Oh, we'll get off that cable. Shoot. I did not see that cable. It's a decent fish. Nothing real crazy, but it's a good first one. I saw the shade over here and I decided I needed to go back and throw top water just because I've been throwing a top water around my house a little bit with frog and I've been just loving it so figured I'd try and get this plus a good way to catch a big one first one in the morning just a small keeper we'll let her back oh let's just see here a little bit of shade left so I'm gonna throw my top water again on these bluff walls shad everywhere out here which is typical when you got a bunch of current. And we got wind today too, which is going the same direction as the current would be. So it's setting up for success for that. We got some wind crashing in here too. So I'm gonna throw just this plopper on the shade. See if we can't pluck off another solid keeper. Well, I think that's pretty much gonna be the end of the top water. I can get out here quite early enough to soak up the entire time frame of it. But it's mostly the end of the shade, I think. As the sun is just going to keep getting higher. Ah! Chasing this thing, eating it. Put a little chartreuse on her. I had to get the old die out for the tail. Give her a little extra contrast here. Finally, to make this sucker eat. It is not big, not big at all, but lordy, lordy, 
I've been seeing so many fish all over and I cannot get them to bite a bottom bait. I can't do it. I've tried it all. Won't do it. So, resorted to the old crankbait. Finally got one to commit here. But he's not big. But man, am I frustrated right now. I'm about ready to abandon the main lake and just fish inside main lake with inside docks and stuff. I'll see if I can maybe get something going with this, but I am beyond frustrated. All right, here's a little shorty. So a little update. The uh, main lake bite is driving me absolutely crazy. I have not been able to get it going at all. I've had a couple fish on it. I found fish, uh, go through them. I cannot get them to eat. I've literally thrown everything I could think of at them. It's just one of those days or one of those times where I wasted so much time trying to catch fish. I think just we're not gonna eat. So I might go back out there uh, in a little while and try again before I end the day. But for now, I've got to get some sanity back here. And uh, I'm fishing shallow with the brush hog right now and some dock shade. I did fish inside main lake points for a little while. I should probably go do that some more. Um, that might be a little bit more consistent around docks and some shade and stuff. But for right now, I'm gonna keep flipping and see if I can uh, at least put some more fish in the boat and a couple more keepers, get my sanity back. Big as I thought he's gonna be. The initial tug felt a little bigger. I don't even think he's a keeper. Skinny fella too, aren't you? You're skinny because all you can eat are these brush hogs back here. Sorry, bud. She had a real bluegill to eat. <laughs> I don't even deserve him. That net job. He's just a nice three something. He might be a four. We'll get a quick weight. Nice little healthy three, 340. Let a rack. Too. I don't know about like crazy good, but it'll keep. Well, that might be bigger than the last one, I'm not sure. Yeah, I got a hook in my net. Another solid three pounder, which I'll take three pounders all day long. Another solid fishing was the exact same size, 330. All right, so that's two of the same ones. I do not have my little keeper on there like normal. I need to, but miss a fish, I'll be blaming myself. But uh, 
This is, I guess, technically a secondary point if you're looking at a mapping, but it's, you can tell, you know, we're out here, relatively deep water, uh, kind of leads right into the main lake. So a natural spot for these fish to stop, especially with some nice brush piles. Let's see if we can catch some more. I threw this curly tail worm a lot earlier uh, on the main lake and just in general around docks, but I had a um, like a shad, like a red shad, or a, a, it's almost like a, a blue fleck, but it has like more red in it. And I'm starting to think that that maybe wasn't a dark enough color, enough contrast. Uh, so I swapped over to June Bug, and that seems to be getting a little bit more attention. Let's see if we can get a couple more out of here, whether they're fish just like that, some more three pounders, or if we can at least just get some more life out of here. There's another one. Let's just see how big this one is. I don't think he's as big as the last two. Let's see if it's at least a keeper though, but I don't know if it is. Hard to tell when they're so far away. Oh yeah, I think. Yeah, he's a keeper. I think so. It's thick enough. Just gotta make sure you're long enough, buddy. Gotta get this ruler cooled off. This thing is hot. Oh yeah. He's just over. I figured he would be. He's kind of thick. Keeper number four. He's a line burner, but he counts. So that's three in a row on the same spot. Let's see if we can round out five here on old june bug on a trusty june bug like the smallest of the bunch for sure oh but I think he'll keep I seem to like that one pile definitely keep so that's number five double check Oh yeah, don't even gotta stretch it. All right, that's number five, nothing crazy, but that is the fourth keeper off of the same spot here and pretty much out of two piles. So I'll cast back to these a little bit some more. I let them rest for a second, work on some other ones here. And uh, after that, we'll move on probably to the same type of stuff, but part of me wants to go shallow really quick and make a couple flips around uh, some key areas and see if I can uh, catch like a five pounder. That would really help the bag out. Sorry for the headbutt, buddy. You gotta be maybe a little bigger than a 190. Keeper number six, a 230, so that gets rid of the little baby 190. Getting a little bit better. Same pile, just kind of keep rotating around here and see what I can get.
He's actually probably he's probably the closest one to being not. He might not be a keeper actually. The more I look at him, boy, if he is, talk about being as close as you can get. And he is a keeper. So yeah, just another 15. That's keeper number seven here, I think. Yeah. So that rounds out five, no, six keepers on this particular point. Just really out of two piles. Old trusty June bug worm. So on its last leg, I need to put my little uh, swivel on here. Probably get a little more life out of this worm, but so far it's it's working. Oh, had him. Darn it. Oh, 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 oh. Took the old tail with it. The old classic move. That was a good bite. Thought I had him for sure. Perfect. Get rid of a two. Another solid three pounder. Another keeper off the same point. I came back and they're still there. I had one bite my worm in half. Just under three. Right, that is a wrap for my first day back in two months and I say it was a success now I ended up with just under 14 pounds for the best five had like seven or eight keepers or something so that was good but um, it was frustrating day really because I really 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 wanted to fish pretty much just main lake points and point hop with all the current they were generating but I could not get the fish to commit. I could find the fish, bring the variety of baits in front of them, but it just seems like I couldn't get them to commit. Now, I guess I, some of the fish that I was seeing, I don't necessarily know if they were bass. I'm just using my best judgment to think uh, you know, that they were. But I ended up... Um, kind of punting from that to regain my sanity. I was about to just totally lose it earlier. And uh, I fished shallow for a while and I caught some shorts. I didn't catch any keepers doing that, just flipping a brush hog around, just real, real shallow. It's not a full moon, um, so the bluegill spawn is not as prevalent as it could be, uh, but that will get, you know, every full moon, I like to try and focus on that or just remember that that's there. Uh, that you can you can definitely capitalize on that. So after I did that for a little while, I decided, okay, I need to come out to a little bit deeper water and probably focus on some brush or just focus on some secondary points that are close to the main lakes. That's kind of what I did. Hopped around and I found one good point that had five or six brush piles on it. Nice flat, you know, gradual point, and that was loaded up with all of my keepers except for one. I had one keeper this morning on top water. A plum colored zoom old monster. So it looks like a 10 inch June bug worm. Uh, that was my best bait. I did throw the shaky head around and I think I only caught one fish on the shaky head, which is surprising. Normally uh, shaky head does really, really well for me, but I don't know, it seemed like they wanted that the curly tail worm today for me. So one thing for certain is I had to fish very, very slow around the brush piles. There was no fast movement. There was no crashing into the pile necessarily, doing a bunch of lifting, letting it down, and kind of banging it into the branches real hard. It was more or less crawling it into the pile, crawling it maybe over some branches, and then killing it. Just killing it for a couple seconds, and then slowly pick it up and just let it sit. And I would say the majority of my bites came when that worm was just sitting still doing nothing. 
I did throw the crankbait a little bit today too. A uh, 6XT, lost that pretty quick, and then uh, threw a Berkeley dredger. I caught one fish on that, a real short one, and I lost uh, another fish. Didn't feel super big on that. So um, the bottom bait for me, I threw a swim bait around too, over the same spots um, that I was throwing the crankbaits and the worms and all that. And uh, I don't know if I caught anything on the football jig today, which is extremely rare. Um, I pretty much threw the same color of brown with green tinsel, which is always a good color. So uh, I don't know, they just didn't want the football jig, it seemed like they wanted the worm. I'm going to say the worm is the bait of the day and that's what they wanted. Could be different tomorrow. So all in all, I'll give it a success. Uh, just was missing that real big fish. Never got anything over four pounds. I think 3.4 was the biggest today. So. And just a quick reminder, if you have a business and you want to sponsor our winter series or advertise with us, uh, give us a shout. We've got several different packages and we're starting to get some sponsors on board. So uh, it's looking like it's going to be a good winter series for everybody. So thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one.